spike in murders, again, was only in areas dominated by liberal politicians. So this is obviously not true. It's obviously has something to do with the politics, not COVID. I'm not sure that it has something to do necessarily with the politics. There are a few things that are important here. One, Jesse, we'll do another segment on that. But all those countries you read, they don't have a rampant gun problem like the United States of America does. Check how many weapons People per capita they have. People can still kill you with a knife. Go down but to they're Brazil. Not, they're, they're not. And Go I down lived, to Colombia. I lived in the UK a long time where people got knifed all the time, and it's still nothing close to our murder rate. So the data that we're talking about is 2020. Those were the Trump years. So all of this blaming on President Biden that's happening now, actually under President Biden's watch, the murder rate has even gone down. Another important component of the FBI data that the short-term increases was in all regions, not just in those liberal cities. All regions. That means in places where conservatives are. That means that this can't all be because of bail reform, to fund the police, yada, yada, yada. And also, the murder rate and the crime rate overall is lower than it was in the 1990s. So conservatives are running around screaming, we've never seen anything like this. You have seen something well, no, like this. The FBI 